Hi Cancer, this is your reading for the week of the 27th, uh, yeah, I've been tw saying 26th, it's the 27th of February to um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5th of March, <laughs> sorry I'm laughing, I um, I drew the, the cards and they hadn't been shuffled, I drew the cards and the first two cards I drew out were really not very nice at all, so I went, oh, that's wrong, Shuffle them properly, Steve, get it right. So I shuffled them and then I draw the devil. I was like, okay, so they definitely want you to know this this week. I think the first time I drew a card, you got the three of swords, the heartbreak card. Anyway, let's get to this cancer. I'm doing readings by the number of people who come to the channel, the uh, number of views I get. And uh, you're in fourth position, which is really good. I mean, I've got some people, I get like one, two views. And I just think it's a lot of work for two views. So um, I'm, if I can, if I don't get all 12 done, I want to do them in order of people who visit the channel. So that means at least the more people that turn up, they're the ones that get treated. I just think, you know, if you can be bothered to invest the time, I can be bothered to invest the time right back to you. So we start with energy on the bottom, which is the um, fantastic Nine of Pentacles. This is Stay Classy Chicago card. You know, it's a, a card of, of affluence. It's a card of abundance. It's a card of satisfaction. She's ignoring the, the prey now. She doesn't bother with mice and birds. She's better than that. Gold is tumbling down around her. She's on a pedestal. Um, it's, it's kind of a card of knowing your worth and a card of, of being worth it. it it's a... The Feast card is just a satisfaction and abundant card. Great, great energy to kind of underscore a reading. Now, the good news is, <coughs> pardon me, you've got the Sun card, which is the best card in the deck, and it lifts all the others, so it, it brightens the others. Um, think of it as, as literally that, the Sun sort of emanating outwards. I do think that it gets weaker the further out it comes. So if it was in the middle of a nine-card spread, it would hit all fairly equally. But if it was on the very end of a 12-card spread or something, I would go, well, it, its impact on card number one is not as great as its impact on card 11. So I do think it's impacting these two more than it is these. The reason for that is, you know, Tarot is, is about shining. It, well, I, I described it to another reader this morning. It's it's like walking around a, a darkened library with a candle and you hold the candle up to the bookshelves and you see the spine of the book and you realise what book, what, what area of the library you're in. You go, oh, I'm in the right area now. And you're looking at it alphabetically going, no, I want the, the author name begins with a G. So you're going along A, B, C, D, F, G. And that's what Tarot does. It kind of lights your way to the answer. But it doesn't give you the answer. It doesn't just go, it's page 17 of that book. That's the thing that you want. It just goes, maybe you need to get more information about this. Maybe you need to follow this path. Maybe you need to have that conversation with your partner. You know, so it, it it's doing those things. Um, <coughs> pardon me, the, the classic Steve Coff again. Um, so we start off with the devil card. I don't mind the devil card. The devil card is a warning of, you know, one B is fine. One donut's fine, one partner's fine. If you're if you're having affairs, eating too many things that are bad for you, drinking too many things, or just being, you know, not all you can be, that's the devil's winning, you know. And remember, the devil doesn't kick your door down. You know, the devil is this beautiful creature that that whispers, you know, come with me. She 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 doesn't kick your door down at two in the morning and drag you away screaming. They literally just stand next stand outside the cake shop going why don't you go and have a cake they're not very expensive you can buy three you can pay for only two yeah maybe you just steal a couple yeah why don't you try that and look at the chain that she's got around you see how loosely she's holding that chain there are low there are millions there are billions of chains everywhere if, if someone breaks the chain she just lets them go she's got plenty of other people to to um work on so the devil, the devil card is a reminder to, you know, <clears throat> all things in moderation. Be the better person and the devil will just melt away. Yeah, and we'll clarify that with another card in a minute. So that's your present position. You're feeling tempted and you're being tempted by these impermanent pleasures. So just be aware that maybe you're, you're far more abundant and, and better off than you think you are. Because these, these feelings come from a a feeling of despair and of, of incompleteness you know if only I had the latest phone that would make me more desirable no it wouldn't it's just a phone 
You didn't create it, you didn't invent it, you just, you're just paying for it, probably with money you can't afford to spend, you know. I, I've got a film that's, I don't know, I think my film's two years old, but my previous one was going on for four or five years. As long as it works, it's got a camera and it, it takes a phone call, happy days, yeah. Um, so yeah, just, just be careful of this, it's just a, a sort of warning shot across the bows, you know. You, you, are, you are in a far better position than you think, do you really need to take on more debt or do you really need to you know get your eye get your head turned at the gym by someone else you're with a partner or you're not with a partner you know it, it doesn't matter but just just be careful of that energy that's all i would say and your present um expectation is this foundation stability it's the ten of pentacles so finances are really well placed um ten of pentacles is um a card of of real generational solid stability whether that is in relationships or money or housing or or work it is it's not your boss saying you're doing a great job it's your boss saying you've been doing a great job for the last five years this is amazing keep up the good work and you just keep up the good work you know the the two trees here that uh, there's three trees isn't there but the two trees there are are they've been there for hundreds of years they're solid reliable they're not going anywhere the bricks that this elephant's on are laid in such a way the gold bricks they're solid they're honest they're immovable you know there's that real sense of um, rigidity is not the right right word because you're still flexible but it's it's foundational it's it's uh resilient it's not going anywhere this is absolutely spot on it's not something flighty and then so you've got you've got the really the two kind of opposite ends of the spectrum here you've got the devil which is all you know which is flighty and and impermanent and fast and you know don't worry about the consequences just do it whereas this is all about consequences this is about making sure the foundation's right before you put the first brick on the ground to build the house out of you know your foundations are solid dependable reliable and the devil doesn't like that they're trying to take that away from you so again i'm just going to refer these three here are the the quite important section you have you're very abundant you're very comfortable you're very settled um and you're going from the nine of pentacles to the ten of pentacles it's solid 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 and the devil doesn't like that he wants to spoil your day and you're having none of it again in the unexpected card you've got the sun card a card of joyful celebration everywhere her foot touches the floor sunflower spring into life it is joyful abundant warming caring letting your inner child come to the front it's about enjoying every every part of life you know really sucking the marrow out of life and just enjoying it and getting rewarded with that as well and the more the more you give the more you get it's that lovely just just outwards energy it's not the hermit it's not it's not insular, it's not coming back to itself, it's getting pushed out and out and out. So that's the situation there. The devil's trying to have a go and you're going no chance. And even on your, you know, cold light of day, the unexpected is like, bang, sun card, amazing. Then next week, uh, we've got the nine of wands, which is just keep going. You're almost, almost there. You've also got the nine of swords and you've got the nine here. So there's a real sense that something is about to be done, dusted over with. And it could be the relationship with the devil. It could be you just going enough of that. It could be that the stability is coming to the fore. It could be that this joyful energy is about to start. So these three nines are almost at the tens. In fact, this one is at the ten, the nine to the ten. So the nine of wands is is there's normally a, a man on top of a hill and he's battered and bruised. He's holding a wand and he's got nine, eight behind him and he's obviously kicked the bejesus out of somebody and he's worn out, but he's still got the energy to do it all over again. So I love to see that. And then finally, in the uh, next one, two, three weeks, just get out of your own head. You know, this is this is bookmarked with the devil. So the, the nine of swords is a card of... Um, lying to yourself kidding yourself you know that's that's not a real sword it's transparent uh, the rabbit's there it's the end of you know innocence and um that sort of head tilt oh wasn't that lovely no not really and then this isn't blood these are rose petals you know about passion and desire um and there's eight swords back here that are all going no oh, don't pick me next don't pick me in a more traditional right away uh Coleman, Pamela Coleman, Smith, is it? Right away, Smith deck, yeah. Um, 
What I really like about the Nine of Swords is there are nine swords above someone's head who's sat up in bed like they're having a nightmare. But the quilt has got every sign of the zodiac on there. And that's to remind you that you're not alone. Everybody feels this way. Everybody has a nightmare. Yeah, a nightmare. It's not real. It's just a nightmare. You need to get to the bottom of why it is, why it's happening. But it's not real. So this, what it's saying here is this isn't real. The devil's not real. That's not real. You want to take these three cards here and this one. So let's clarify this. Uh, let's see where we get to cancer. My son's cancer, by the way. And my wife is Leo cancer. In fact, sun, moon and rising, she's Leo cancer. So it literally is. My mother was Leo. My, who else? My first wife was Leo. My best friend in, in uh, the industry is Leo. Yeah, a lot of Leo energy. But yeah, a lot of cancer is probably second there. So I'm quite aware of what cancer is going through. Okay. Right, let me get let me get the rest of the cards out. That's that's flipped it on its head a little bit. Um, I wasn't seeing that, and now we might have to just very quickly dash back through the reading. Okay, pentacles, pentacles, pentacles. Wow. So there's two things. It could be about money because you've got the nine and the ten here. So some people are definitely thinking long and hard about money, in which case money is very well placed. Okay, so you don't need to worry about money. So that's that's all being taken care of. Um, the reason I'm saying that is you've got all these pentacles, but you've got the 10 again. And look at the 10 on this one. Happy family home. Abundant again, full of money, full of wealth, full of... And by wealth, I can mean that, that kind of... You can't pour from an empty cup. It's that kind of wealth as well, that, that strength of mind wealth that we have. In, you know, or or a, a wealthy heart, I would say. Some people have got a wealthy heart where they just continue to give more and more love. You know, like these fantastic people who foster children for decades and they go oh i've fostered 65 children and you're like wow that is a wealthy heart you know what i mean um the reason i kind of pause a little bit is you've got the two of cups on top of the devil now the two of cups is the relationship card it's two peas in a pod it's it's coming together with someone so and again this is general read so bear with me this could be this is obviously, you know, these are two soulmates. People go, well, I live on my own and I'm never getting a, a relationship with anyone ever. Well, that's just you and your higher self in that case. But usually, most of the time, it's you and your significant other. Perhaps it's on top of the devil makes me think, are you worried about the other? Or are you getting your head turned at the gym like we mentioned before? Um, I would say, if you are, the, the thing is, these things are perfectly reasonable. You know, I know we live in this woke age, but... I'm sure if someone attractive walked past you, whether and it doesn't matter whether you are, however you identify and however the person walking past identifies, sometimes people walk past people and you just follow with your eyes and go, damn, that's an attractive, and then fill in the blanks, you know, that, damn, they're attractive, and then they either look back and scowl or look back and smile or ignore you completely or they haven't even noticed, you know, and I just kind of think, there's no harm in that. There's no intent behind any of this. But sometimes you are, you know, if, if I was with a a partner, you know, my wife, if I was with my wife and every time we walked past someone, she was like, oh, fireman, oh, uh, you know, you'd be like, really? Is there something going on here I need to know about? Because other people seem to be more important than me. And I'm not saying that in an arrogant way. So it's fine for people to, to have their heads turned. But if there's any kind of seriousness behind it, you need to decide... How does your life look in the next 12 months? Are you going to start having your head turned and do something about it? Which is fine. I'm not saying you shouldn't. But I am saying just be very careful that you don't end up in a year's time going, how the hell did that happen? Uh, one minute I'm happily married. The next minute I've had two affairs and I'm on my own. Or I've had two affairs and I've moved in with, you know, girlfriend number two and she's already got a family and it's all very stressful. It's like that happened because of this bit here. Yeah. So just make a conscious decision. This is a great card. This is a loving card. This is two people coming together. It's the soulmate card. Don't let that go. Don't let that be infected by the devil. On top of the 10, which is this fantastic, you know, foundational stability, you've got the strength card. The strength card is more than enough strength to do whatever is thrown at you. So again, if the devil's causing an issue, your 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 love is strong enough to survive and it results in, you know, happy days. So the story here, I always think of this, but the story is the devil is a very powerful entity until you deal with it and then it just fades away to nothing. It's like Dracula in sunlight. It's like, boom, gone, disappeared completely. 
and then you've got the Ten of Pentacles. You go down from the Nine to the, the King of Pentacles, and then you've got the Page of Pentacles. Let's just see what Heidi says in her book about these two. So we're on Pentacles, aren't we? Because there are so many Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles, yeah, leadership, abundance, prosperity. She leads her kingdom into an era of security and abundance. So again, security, abundance, works hard and strategically to ensure that citizens throughout her kingdom, she prefers citizens as opposed to subjects, have everything they need in order to thrive. She understands that in order for a society to truly prosper, everyone's basic needs must be fully met. No one should worry about how to afford food for their families or how to find a safe place to live. She's fair, just, and a true advocate of the people. So in terms of an energy, this is, you know, top of the food chain, very masculine energy, but just reliable, dependable, very happy with where you are. So this is building, 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 and, and financially it feels really strong. Now, the Page of Pentacles is one of my favourite cards in the True Black deck. It's a card of focus and intent and determination. It's like, I know what I want, and this is how I'm going to get it. But in this particular deck, she talks about the Page of Pentacles as strategy, growth and apprenticeship. All pages are apprenticeships. Um, the Page of Pentacles is at the beginning of her journey to building wealth, financial stability and abundance. She holds the pentacle above her head as a way to visualise her goal. Not in a way that's obsessed or greed-driven, greed but to keep her focused as she plans her strategy. She's excited to put one foot in front of the other to see where it leads. Okay, so I've got a feeling that... Because that's the only relationship card, it, it kind of threw a spanner in the works and I panicked a little bit, but that got resolved. So if you are in a relationship, you are having your head turned, don't worry, you've got the strength, you've got the foundation, you've got the sun card to get rid of the devil and just carry on having your, like I say, you go, wow, attractive person, back to my partner, happy days, yep. Uh, and then if it's finances, these are really well placed this week. They're really, really good. I mean, you've got, you know where you want to go and you're on the path to that journey. If it's not about finances and this is a love reading, I would say the same thing. You know what you want. This is where you want to be. Happy family home. Uh, the king has got the maturity. And the, the, the thing about the king of pentacles, I think, is the very, they know their own worth. You know, the advert on the television is like where it says, because you're worth it. That's exactly what this king says every morning when they get out of bed. Why am, why am I so good looking? Because I'm worth it. Why am I driving the car? Because I'm worth it. Why am I in this job? Because I'm worth it. And if you're not in a job that you like or driving the car that you want to drive, you're doing something about getting out of that. Because when you get to where you want to be, you're really satisfied with it. So it's a, it's a card of knowing your own value and worth and making one step in front of the other to get to it. And the same with the Page of Pentacles. Focus, determination, intent. This is what I want. And this is how I'm going to get it. As ever, thank you so much for being here. I really do appreciate you uh, coming to the channel. So do like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week for more of the same. Take care.